That's fantastic. Time for our prime performance sponsored by Whole Foods Market. Be healthy, be happy, be whole. Ooh. Niners Rams in a doozy last night. Niners down 17-3 at the half. Claw their way back into the game. Jimmy Garoppolo doing most of the clawing. Big second half for the embattled quarterback. Couple of big plays. That's a big play. And it set up this. 26 seconds left. Jimmy G to Juwan Jennings. Look That's a touchdown. Ooh. Niners went on to kick a field goal to win it in overtime as San Francisco locks up the sixth seed. They are on to the wild card round, thanks in part to Jimmy G yesterday. Chris Broussard, did Garoppolo silence the doubters with his performance? Let me start like this, Jenna. Here's what I'm not saying. I'm not saying Jimmy G is an elite quarterback. I'm not saying that the 49ers should go away from their plan to start Trey Lance next season. All right? I'm fine with all that. But what I am saying is this. Nick, I told you so. I told you oh, that oh Jimmy you G can't be taking was the, the victory man lap for on this. this job. All right? Oh, well, I'm taking the victory lap. I'm high-stepping and everything. Did you watch all the right? game? Jimmy G. And, oh, and, and, yeah, I watched the game. And, like I said, he's not elite. So he had his struggles. It happens to the ones that aren't Brady, <laughs> Rodgers, and guys like that. All right? But when it counted, when it mattered, and I told you this a few well, months ago when he did it against Cincinnati, Jimmy G is a winner, Nick. I keep saying it. I'm going to keep saying Hello. it until you understand it. Look at what he did on these last two drives. Eight oh for ten. Game on the line. Season on the line. 133 yards, a touchdown. And look at that passer rating. The dude was nearly perfect and when the, the game smile. was on the line. And, Nick, I say this every week, but I'm going to say it again because you don't understand it. The 49ers in their five years with Jimmy G are 31 and 14 oh this, when he this plays. This game proves Starts. my point. They're 8 Damn. and 28 oh when he doesn't play. He is a winner, and they should have won that Super Bowl if the defense doesn't give up three touchdowns in the last oh, seven here minutes. Here we go. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm oh just, just throwing my that God. in there. I two. love it. America. I was glad. I wanted to cheat. I, I, but now, I do saying. think you watched this game. This was the big Fox nationally televised game. You had Buck and Aikman. But if you didn't watch the game, let me give a quick analogy for what Broussard is doing. Broussard is complimenting the arsonist for putting out the fire. The reason they needed that low, those last second drives was because Jimmy G was an abomination. The prettiest pass thrown by a 49ers player for the first three and a half quarters was thrown by Debo Samuel. Oh, there's a good Jimmy G play. Was, this it was guy, a nice pass. guys, he threw a red zone pick as well. He fumbled the ball. Watch this pick. Again, this is the late fourth quarter in the score. In the He throws in triple coverage. They're in the red zone. Guys, so here's the thing, Wilds, because I would still go to Trey Lance. I am more convinced to go to Trey Lance. What? And oh, gosh. I might be no, able to convince Kevin Wilds. Wilds. Stop Wilds. it. Stop Wilds, it. Wilds, just real quick, I know you don't like answering. Hold on. I know you don't like answering questions that I ask on the air. I'm going to do an experiment here, okay? All right, let me put my hands down. All right. This is my right hand. I know it's weird on TV. This is my right hand. This is my left hand. Okay? I swear on my life, I will give you all the money in one of my hands. Which hand do you choose? My right or my left? Which one are you choosing? I want to play. Go. I'm going to fall Tell for me. it again just for Please. the sake of television. I'll take the hand that I can't see. I'll take the one that your fist is. Exactly your right. Hand with the fist. Exactly. Now, guess what? This hand likely has nothing in it. It actually does have nothing in it. That's Trey Lance. It probably isn't going to get you to the Super Bowl, but you don't know it. This is Jimmy Garoppolo. You know it's not going to get you to the Super Bowl this year. You can see it. You can see it. And Why? if you watch Wilds, no. did you watch that game? He what got you, you there once before. Yes. Wilds. That game, that is, we, we don't have a time machine in either hand, for the record. Wilds, that game was proof positive why quarterback wins are nonsense. They, Debo Samuel was unbelievable. The defense made great plays. They won despite Jimmy Garoppolo's 
egregious play for three and a half quarters. They were only in that position because he was so bad. You have to see that. Okay. Jimmy G has already taken the 49ers to a Super Bowl. Of course he can do it again. So and yes, of course I watch the game. Especially when I had that two-screen experience because someone on the show, rather than just putting their opinions out on social media, starts to tag Broussard and Wilds. The 49ers decided to go back to Jimmy G in a must-win game. CC, Chris Broussard, and Kevin Wilds. Now you want to go back to Trey Lance? <laughs> what can Jimmy G do? Other than engineer what Bill Barnwell, I think, called a legacy-defining drive. And, and gosh, they, he won the game. He won the game. We're, you're living in some crazy wins. world where Brandon Staley can get credit for losing cavemen. the game, and Jimmy G deserves no credit for winning a Thank game. Thank you. To me, me and Broussard are simple guys. Thank we just you. like winning football games. That's it. It's, it's pretty basic. But if you want to go back, do you, are you serious about going back to Trey Lance? Or are you just saying that for sort of television yes. You yes. Know, fireworks. Oh. Jimmy G was you terrible. Can't be Nick. Okay. He, here's the thing, Why? Nick. You guys only you, care about wins. Trey Lance it, it, won his last struggled. start. Look, he struggled early. There is no doubt about it. And I'm sitting there thinking, oh man, In Nick's gonna have a field day tomorrow. But he rallied <laughs> them. See, you said they won despite him. It's not like they want, like he wasn't had nothing to do with it. Like all he did was hand the ball off and Debo made magic. He actually made the throws. He made the game time touchdown pass. That's the thing. He oh, engineered those drives with his arm. And that's the thing. And look, I, I'm going to take the, the words of two Hall of Fame quarterback. Since you won't believe me and Kevin Wilds. Oh, we're just oh. old school guys that never played in NFL, <laughs> college, anything like that. How about Troy Aikman? That good enough for you? Because Troy Aikman said this. What a job by Jimmy Garoppolo. I mean, just some big time throws. Who better than Troy Aikman? Oh, how about Terry Bradshaw? One of the most clutch quarterbacks we ever <laughs> saw in the Super Bowl. You got any questions, Nick Wright? Anybody about Jimmy G and his heart, determination, poise under fire, comeback ability, great throws, clutch throws. I'm telling you, they were all answered today. Right Nick, get off that train. Get off that train. Come aboard. Yeah. Come aboard. Our train. Yeah. Woo -hoo. Okay, so here's, here's the, the train. thing. You got time. I am not a big <laughs> fan of the appeal to authority fallacy. But if we are going to do that and oh. appeal to the authority of Troy Aikman in this conversation, I will go down that road. I don't have a full screen ready for you, but I have a different Troy Aikman quote. I have two of them, actually. They're just the guttural sounds he made watching those first two Jimmy G picks. The first one was, Ugh. and the second one was, oh, my God. That's it. That's what he, th those were, that, I don't I know how we would spell screen. that on a Chiron, but that's what it was. Guys, he was <laughs> The house was on fire because of him. You don't get credit that you helped put it out. And if you watched that game Help. and did not realize this is why Nick hates the quarterback win stat, because that was a Debo Samuel win. That was a Kyle Shanahan win. That was a Niners defense win. That was a Sean McVay loss. That was a Matt Stafford gag. The, all those things. And yes, Jimmy G absolutely played well on the final drive. I, my argument is not that he has no ability to play well, but so does the quarterback that went to the Super Bowl right before Jimmy G. Every once in a while, he plays well. His name's Jared Goff. I bench him, too, for Trey Lance. And your guys' argument would be, oh, how could you do that? How can you trade Goff? For Stafford, who's never won a playoff game, when golf has taken oh, you to a Super Bowl. Packers. Where's that argument? Yeah, there you go. Golf's yep, good. golf got a win over the Packers. W. Beat Aaron Rodgers, technically. <laughs> you guys are nuts. We can't quite get on the same page.